So, my name is like like this, no, like like this. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hello, my name is Kwang Jun Kwan, and tonight I played, as you see, typewriter, radio, cassette, and this kalimba, and the harmonium. Yeah. I'm, I'm from originally from Korea, so um, I'm working as time at the at the hardware lab. So I help artists in technical wise build my own instruments and stuff. And uh, uh, how is it being an artist in Poland, a Korean artist here? Uh, like compared to Korea, I guess. It's the infrastructure, I mean, the, the government help, finance-wise, it, it's okay. I mean, like, there are a lot of help from government and subsidies and stuff. But uh, it's totally different uh, mentality and culture. So, yeah, it, it's not that easy to survive in Netherlands as a Korean, I guess, yeah. Uh, well, like uh, at first, I felt a bit like isolated from from like uh, other like audiences. But I I am open to the people who are outside and like they don't even hear me, and it's really like a funny like uh, uh, structure of like a stage and how to divide the spaces in in very interesting way. I kind of enjoy it a lot, yeah. So uh, it didn't bother you that people could hear you inside the big uh, No, it didn't bother me at all. Like, uh, it made me feel almost like playing in the back, backstage or something. But, uh, but I felt fine. But I can also, like, uh, felt some, some energy of audiences there. So it's okay. Hi, my name is Carolyn Teo. I'm from Australia, from Sydney, Australia. Um, my back cultural background is Australian, which is English, Irish, and Norwegian and Malaysian, but Chinese Malaysian. So I'm quite a mix. Um, I was born in Australia. Um, I, my character here is one thong. And it's a bit of a tongue-in-cheek character. Um, it's a play on the Chinese names, a bit too Asian names. Because in Australia, this, this is called a thong, not a flip-flop. <laughs> Which in the States or Canada, I guess, thong is something different. Um, so the character's name, one thong, is he's supposed to be wearing one thong. And he's always in search of Tuzong, which is supposedly his father. Um, one Thong sort of manifested himself. It kind of took over my, my personality, I suppose. Um, yeah. Okay. Sorry, I need a break. <laughs> that's, that's, that's funny. Are you literally wearing one Thong? Well, I'm not today, <laughs> but... I'm usually supposed to be. <laughs> um, and can you um, explain what you're playing today? Okay. Uh, so today I'm playing with various found objects. Uh, this is an ornament from the 60s. 
I'm not sure if it's just in Australia or if it was a worldwide ornament, but um, what I've done is I've mic'd it up just with a piezo mic, and it's going through effects on Zoom and a bit of a delay effect, so it creates a really weird sound and it's a bit um, like screaming and singing sometimes. Um, I've also got this. It's a little chicken toy. And I've also got a microphone attached to that. And I've put it through an uh, analog delay pedal. Um, so I just changed the, the, delay, the delay so it changes the sound of the tapping. Um, oh, sorry, I forgot to say, I bow, <laughs> I bow the balls. Um, so also, I just usually find various objects that I can mic up and make that make sound. And also, I was just uh, using, it was actually a glitch in GarageBand, which is quite a lo-fi <laughs> program. But it allowed me to actually play the computer. So if I tap the computer, it makes sounds. Oh my god! <laughs> and then, um, and so I've also put some bird sounds. But I've taken bird sounds from Australia. Um, you can tell by my accent, I'm going up with everything. <laughs> Did you do you take bird sounds because of this project bird cage, or is that a coincidence? It's a coincidence, actually. Yeah, it's kind of a happy. Happy accident. And uh, do you always have to be in character when you're playing um, experimental music? Well, if I'm playing uh, one song, I'll be in character. I'm, I've usually perform as one song, but I've also played with other people, improvised um, as myself and not in costume. Mm. And um, how is it being in um, an Australian Chinese uh, experimental musician living in Canada? Wait, maybe you could say that. Like, uh, how did you get there, and, and kind of like maybe your journey? Like, oh, what, okay. what are you doing? What was? Why did I go to Canada? <laughs> and like, how is it being an Asian or half Asian? In Australia. in Australia, but also kind of going outwards to do your work. I, okay. Um, to be an Asian Australian is quite interesting because a lot of people, they'll look at you and, and until they hear you speak, they'll be quite shocked because if you have a really Australian accent, people are used to, well, it's actually not the truth. There's a lot of mixed people in Australia, but the sort of stereotype of Australia is blonde hair, blue eyes. So even in my own country, quite often I get asked where I'm from, or where was, what country did I come from? And I'm sort of shocked because my accent sounds Australian, so I don't know why they'd ask me where I'm from. Um, going overseas was interesting as well. I. Um, spent some time in Canada. I lived in Montreal for a year, or Montreal, and um, I. It was quite interesting because I ended up getting. It was hard to find work because I wasn't able to speak French, um, and I ended up getting sort of typecast in a, a restaurant, an Asian restaurant, <laughs> and was a chef in the wok with the wok. And I worked with a whole bunch of girls from Japan. So it was, it was a really nice experience to meet these people, but it's, it's just funny that I end up with a job because of my background, cultural background. Um, and quite often people would be surprised there that I'm from Australia. A lot of people would say Kenichiwa and like think I'm Japanese. So, I mean, obviously I look very Asian right now, <laughs> like an old man, but um, yeah, so it was kind of, in that was and, interesting. Um, and this experience tonight, working with other 
Asian experimental artists is very rare for you? Like, how was it? Uh, is it something you never thought you'd be able to do? Or, you know, being mm. here in Amsterdam and not in Asia? But, like, is it Excuse a me. chance in a lifetime? Or just... You see, being able to perform in Amsterdam um, with an all-Asian cast is actually a really empowering experience for me because um, although there are uh, Asian sound artists and, and experimental performers, um, I don't think you... I haven't seen a, a group or an ensemble um, of performers of Asian performers and it was a really nice ex opportunity especially in Amsterdam I didn't really expect expect that and it's funny because my character is very uh, Chinese so it was really nice to be able to actually work with all these people and, and it made sense it made sense that I'm sitting in a a Chinese shop front in Chinatown in Amsterdam. Great. Um, can you do me a favor? Could you say, um, um, could you say, uh, you are watching CRTV? Okay. Okay, now look straight into the camera, do it. You are watching CRTV. And my name is Jan, I'm from Indonesia. And yeah, I was here in Amsterdam for just traveling and yeah, I was end up in this place and watching some performance and it was great. I saw uh, a lot of new things about sounds and yeah, amazing. And uh, how did you hear about this event? Uh, from a friend actually, <laughs> who is, uh, yeah, who was invited in this uh, performance. Yeah. What did you like uh, about the performance? Uh, the, the voice, <laughs> the sound, everything. Like oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> what I like about the uh, performance is uh, yeah, the creation of the voice and then the environment, the um, the rooms, the setting, everything is uh, creating such a, a new emotion. Let's, let's say. And what did you think that there was uh, all Asians performing? Well, uh, what I think about the yeah, the Asian, all the Asians performing is uh, pretty amazing because uh, in Holland I don't see that much. And it's amazing that there is also a very t much talented uh, Asian in this country. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Wait, stand in the light. You're gonna do it.
Thank mm-hmm. you.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> 